second year. So congratulations, it's obviously a really big award. Thank you. Um, how does it feel to be recognised in this way by the WIF? Great, because I come from Sri Lanka, uh -huh. where we have a fair amount of women's equality. But the ladies in the boardroom are very few. Yes. So my appointment as the chair, first chairperson of, of Sri Lanka's Export Development Board, which is a board responsible for promoting Sri Lanka's export, mm -hmm. uh, is a new appointment, mm -hmm. the first woman to be appointed there. Yeah. So I'm very happy that the government is heading towards recognizing women in board groups. Absolutely, absolutely. And tell me a little bit about your career then. Like, has it been a real struggle for you to get to this position? Uh, in the sense, uh, I was first working in Japan and then came and joined the Export Development Board. But uh, after 26 years of professionalism there, due to political interference, I made a bold decision to step down. I mean, everybody was against me stepping down because they knew I had a career in this uh, organization. But my children and my husband were very supportive because I always had great principles and values in life. So they want me to stick to that. And I took this decision of quitting a very lucrative government job. So I went to the private sector and I was an exporter myself there, exporting for the very first time strawberries from Sri Lanka, including to the main markets in the UK and Europe, which was uh, a, a challenge because it was a very fresh fruit to be exported from Sri Lanka on the way to Europe. But we did it and enjoyed working on it. But then once again I had, I wanted to share some of the profits with my co-workers, uh, the two managing directors who was my friend and myself. We were, we were becoming very rich but I couldn't, uh, you know, it, it takes a team to do a job. So I had the differences of opinion on management. And then once again, based on my principles and values, I took a step back and I got my friend, you continue and I'll go along. And I wanted to help the rural craftsmen of Sri Lanka, for which I joined the Sri Lanka Handicrafts Board and did design and product development targeting international markets. With a change in government in Sri Lanka, the exporters were very keen that I come and rejoin the export sector. Mm -hmm. So I came on conditions that I should be allowed to work as a professional and the organization should be run with the highest professionals. So with that, I was invited as a first chairperson of them. That's amazing. And do you feel that now you're in this position, yes. that you will be able to help other women? And you know, kind of, will you be able to have yes. any influence? In fact, uh, since coming, I have opened a women's cell for the first time. Uh, and I've been uh, requesting assistance from a number of international organizations targeting women, mm -hmm. uh, which because 51% of Sri Lanka's population are women and uh, with good entrepreneurship skills, but that little push is necessary for them. Mm -hmm. And I think from my organization, we can give them that extra push because exports becomes very important for our economy. Mm -hmm. Because we depend a lot on exports. Sri Lanka is a very small country, so the population is limited. Yeah. So for economies of scale, we, we need to do production and target the export market. So I'm absolutely sure that with women entrepreneurs, that I can give them in uh, terms of the international requirements and get them to the international requirements. Amazing. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.